Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting into your homes from the United Kingdom. Welcome to my channel. First time you're passing through, you're welcome to hit the thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, share, whatever you like. Um, I wanted to talk about what happened on Christmas Day in 1831. Yes, it's a long, long time ago, but as we're thinking about events that happen around Christmas time. It's good to take stock of how our past affects our present now. And in, on the 25th of December 1831, that is when Sam Sharp um, ordered the revolt. Well, it was supposed to be a passive revolt. Um, what he had done was, he'd, in his church, from his pulpit, he was a Baptist leader. He was telling the people to go on strike over Christmas over the Christmas holidays. Word got out and it went, you can imagine, the um, colonizers not getting any work from the Jamaicans. 60,000 out of 300,000 um, actually took part of the revolt. And you can imagine how, um, how, how they had to, what they had to do to bring that about. And even though it was meant to be passive, what is wrong with saying, okay, I am not going to work for the Christmas holidays. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to go on strike. But they didn't have any rights. They didn't have any rights. And I think, well, there's some kind of discrepancy on how many were killed. They reckon that 500 were killed um, in the revolt. And then they claim, that from another source, they say over th thousands were killed. Apparently, a lot of them had the death sentence and were hanged, along with Sam Sharp. So, um, yeah, I just thought I would share that with you, because when you think about how strong um, our people are and what it must take to decide to get up and say, look, enough is enough. I'm not putting up with this anymore. And it was instrumental in ending slavery. I mean, it it took place in 1831. And then two years later, partial slavery was abolished. And then um, in 1843, it was abolished completely. It took place in Montego Bay in a place called Kensington Estate. And that was burnt down. But, you know, it's such a shame. I mean, you see pictures of them whipping them and goodness knows what. But I just thought I'd show you a quick video. It, it doesn't really tell you much, but it's just got the timeline on it. So I'll let you see that if it lets me in. And it's called the Christmas Rebellion also known as the Baptist War. Yeah, I just cannot imagine what it must like to be a slave. You know, you've been given so many, well, not been given, we, you know, because of people like Slam Sharp, we are now allowed to more or less live a free life, relative equality. But can you imagine living through those times, being beaten, being treated like dirt, being humiliated. Can you imagine it? 
It is difficult to imagine. But yes, it, um, the rebellion lasted between seven. Some sources says it's seven days. Another source says it's a week long. Another source says it's 11 days. So I really don't know how long it took. I do know that up to six weeks afterwards, they claimed that um, slaves were still being treated abominably, killed as a punishment for the revolt. Several of them were hanged. And so, yeah, it just continued. But like I said, 1843, they were then declared emancipated under British rule. They didn't have that power anymore. And it takes people like that. You have to revolt. And yes, people will die as a result of that revolt. So many, um, to St. Latour, so many people died in order to emancipate slaves. And it's a shame it has to end like that. But it's almost like unless white people get killed on these plantations, that there's no there's no solace. There's you know that nothing gets done. It's only when their lives they, their lives feel threatened, and then they think, oh my God, it's getting a bit out of hand. Let's put an end to it. But other than that, as long as they can get away with treating people as slaves and abusing, they just used to continue no sense of morality or conscience so anyway i wanted to share that with you because it did happen around the um, christmas period albeit 1831 long 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 time ago but you know it's why we're here today like i said and i thought i would share that like i said it happened in King, in um, montego bay jamaica and yeah, I hope you found that useful. A lot of you will know about it, but there'll still be some who don't know about it. It was called the Christmas Rebellion, also known as the Baptist War, because um, Sam Sharp was a Baptist and he led the revolt. Al although it was meant to be passive, but it didn't end up that way. I mean, one thing about um, people who invest money in there, they want to get the most out of their, out of what they've spent and they're not going to have a load of black people um, going on strike. Uh-uh, that ain't happening. They want to get the most out of them as possible. So you can imagine once they hear so they're not going to work over the Christmas period, which is the busiest period, they must have went mad. So yeah, big up Sam Sharp. And yeah, we have to give thanks to our ancestors who fought for freedom. Bye-bye.